What's going on guys? So I hope you're having a great Saturday. I wanted to touch on something and this video is going to be quick and to the point, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I always mention, you know, not showing uh, fear in the way of your responses and your behaviors on this channel. Like for instance, if you are trying to do exposure, let's say driving and the symptoms come on or the negative thoughts start to bombard you, I don't want you giving fearful responses back to it. Like, oh no, why is this happening? Please, not right now. See, this is why I don't do it. Am I dying? Am I having a heart attack? I don't want you showing fearful behaviors. Like I'm gonna get out of the car. I'm gonna have to pull over. I have to call somebody. Um, I have to check my pulse, right? Those would be fearful actions or behaviors. I want you to get away from that, right? I want you to show bravery and courage. But I've been thinking as of late, are people confusing this with me saying like that you can't have any fear within you? No. People that are brave and courageous going into battle or, or standing up for something that they believe in, trust me, there is some fear there in those situations. It is okay to have a level of fear, you know what I mean? But I wanna show my subconscious that I'm strong and I'm gonna stand up for it. I'm gonna be there for it, right? We are we are cool, we are tight, man. We are best friends and I'm gonna stick up for my best friend. Honestly, it's your inner child. It's that little version of you, that four-year-old version of you. And I wanna stick up for that four-year-old me whenever it's scared because ultimately it's crying out to you. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. If I give fearful responses back to that situation, for instance, if you have a child that runs in, um, if, you, if you're a parent, you know what this is like. I'm, uh, I, mommy, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. There could be a storm or whatever coming in and you're supposed to, right? You gotta show bravery. Even if you're nervous about the storm, it's gonna be okay, baby, it's gonna blow by. Come here, get in bed with mama or get in bed with daddy and, and the storm is gonna pass. But what I'm meaning by fearful responses, they come knocking on the door, mama, 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 I'm scared. And you're like, yeah, I'm scared too. We're all gonna get swept up by this tornado. That's a bad response. You're gonna freak out your subconscious. It doesn't show leadership, right? But if you can show bravery, say the right things, even though you're still nervous and scared on the inside a little bit, right? And you can do that. You're showing leadership, and guess what? Your subconscious will start to trust you. The problem is, is that we've had fearful responses for so long that it's gonna take a lot of those positive responses to get the momentum back in your favor, if that makes sense. So basically, I want the mindset for this weekend and hopefully you can adopt this, you know, moving forward and everything and keep it as a part of your overall anxiety recovery journey or plan or whatever. Keep it, keep it going. I want you to understand that I want you to be brave and show courage and that it is okay to be afraid and scared still or nervous inside by having to deal with these symptoms or how is this exposure trip going to go? That part will get better, right? that part will get better. When you show your subconscious that you're brave and you're willing to stay in that car, not pull over, not exhibit um, you know, some of the behaviors or the fearful behaviors and actions, like by not avoiding or what, it could be anything, right? There's tons of different behaviors that we go through whenever we have anxiety and, and we're afraid, right? We wanna get away from those. We wanna show that we can get through this okay and we are and we are stopping with the like oh my god i think i'm gonna die or you know is this a heart attack or like see this is why i never do this or oh my god i can't do you know what i mean and we replace that with positive responses that's bravery i'm gonna say the right crap even though i feel like crap you know and i'm gonna do the right stuff right even though i don't feel like doing it you know what i mean like i want to pull over but i'm not i'm going to show bravery show bravery and courage and stop expecting not to be afraid at all i think once i started to you know think like that the pressure came off of me and just think about i'm getting chills talking about it i get chills whenever i talk to my coaching clients about it because it's huge something about being brave and going to battle with this thing gets you pumped up you know what i mean and whenever you feel like I can still be nervous and scared, but man, I'm going into battle today and I'm going to stand up for that little version of me. It's scared. That's why I get these symptoms. And you know, I've been scaring it back. You know what I mean? In fact, go down below right now in the comment section and comment, I will be brave. I will be brave. If you want more help with your anxiety recovery process, I've got a lot of information down below in the description. My course, Elite Anxiety Bootcamp is changing many lives out there. I'll read you a review real quick. There is suffering in recovery. It's a process, up and down, but I am working hard every day. You are absolutely amazing. Thank you for what you do. Your program was exactly what I needed. I would recommend it to anyone suffering from anxiety. Bravo. If you haven't been able to get that yet, use code anxiety recovery. It'll save 20 bucks on an already affordable course. Very extensive, downloadable materials, close to 100 videos. It's going to take you step by step 
through the process that I went through to recover from panic disorder, health anxiety, and generalized anxiety disorder. If you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, my email for that is also down below. Reach out and I'll send you my info. Um, guys, please like this video if you got some value. And until next time, keep fighting.